While financial statements themselves provide insights, these analyses give us an edge in identifying opportunities and strategizing. The two analyses we are looking at today are horizontal analysis and vertical analysis. Horizontal shows change over time, vertical shows each line as a share of a base number in the same statement. Together, they help you see development and distribution. To make this easier, let's apply them on a simplified sample balance sheet. Here, we compare assets, equity and liability over the years 2024 and 2025. Assets have moved up from 500 to 600, liabilities from 300 to 340 and equity from 200 to 260. Taking a vertical analysis of 2025 statement with assets as the base number, we see liabilities make up 56.7% and equity 43.3%. These vertical percentages shows equity makes up less than 50%, specifically 43.3% of total assets, which may not be seen as a healthy number. However, the horizontal year-on-year -year change reveals equity has grown by 30%, which is much faster than the growth in liabilities, 13.3%. This means owners' climb on the assets are rising faster than the creditors' climb, which is a good sign. In short, horizontal analysis tracks change, vertical analysis breaks down composition. Used together, they show not just where your business stands, but also how it's shifting, helping you spot strength and areas to work on. Thanks for watching. Catch you in the next one. I am Aditya, and this is Accounting 101 by Zoho Books.